And we're back in the casino checking out Roxy's over here. That was our steakhouse that we went to yesterday. And now it's time for the Fresh Farmer's Pick Buffet on Ace of Vegas. Let's get started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Okay guys, Ace of Vegas here, and today we are at the Isle Casino Hotel Blackhawk and its famous Farmer's Pick Buffet. So I very much like this one. It's a lot of, a lot of farm-to-table stuff. The nice thing about Colorado is we do have a lot of ranches and farms here, special cattle farms. So the beef is often very good and very fresh, and we've had very good experiences with the beef so far. Um, at nighttime, it has a seafood buffet. Um, I didn't uh, get that one there, but I, we did do the breakfast buffet yesterday, or the brunch buffet, I should say, excuse me, yesterday. And I thought the brunch buffet was superior. So here's the dinner seating area. They rope this off during the, during the day here. But they have a lot of seating, and it's a very popular buffet. Unfortunately, at this hotel, the uh, eating options are a little limited. But, you know, the buffet, it's a hell of a buffet, I will admit. So, Local Farm Fresh, this is where they usually do the uh, steam products. So, that's where you do the crab and all that. Let's, get a, let's do a walk around and see what we like. We've definitely got plates over here, so let's start strong with the plates. And we're going to go ahead and check the uh, salad bar first. I very rarely get salad at buffets. Um, and this one looks pretty fresh, but I don't usually do it. Oh, and they have fresh sub sandwiches too, so that's nice. I think I'll get one of those. And just get one of those for breakfast here. Thousand Island. Good times, good times. Um, and then they do make some fresh salmon too. I think salmon are actually native Colorado. Oh, pardon me, ma'am. And then they also do pizza. Now, what I do like about this, we just did the changeover, so the pizza is 100% fresh right now. And I always do love fresh pizza, you guys know me. And going through, looks like they brought out some, oh, Italian sausage and marinara. Don't mind if I do. Awesome. Thanks, John. There we go. Get some fresh Italian sausage and marinara. Delicious, brilliant. Of course, they have roast rotisserie uh, baked chicken, local chicken. And vodka sauce penne too. And of course you have the fried chicken, the mashed potatoes, and then they make some sausage gumbo here. Um, rice peel off. I didn't care much for the rice peel off last time. I tried it last night. Didn't care for that much. And I think they got some fresh cornbread too. So it's always a good place to start. Um, now they don't do a lot of different. Uh, uh, they don't do a lot of different flavored options, like a lot of different culinary options. It's, a mix of Italian and American cuisine, a little bit of Mexican too, because we're pretty Tex-Mex around here, and loaded mashed potatoes were outstanding. And then they have a taco bar, because we need a taco bar. Um, they also do have a meadery that does have New York strip to pork loin. I, I'll try the pork loin. I didn't try that. I tried pork belly last time. Hey, Jorge, como estas? All right, perfecto. And there's my boy Jorge doing the omelet station, and he makes one hell of an omelet, so shout outs to Jorge here. All right. Of course, I have Cinnabons, and then you have the fresh, traditional American breakfast over here. You got the bacon, and the sausage patties, and the gravy, and the green chili, and all that. So now that you guys have seen everything, let me go ahead and uh, take a break over here. I'm going to go ahead and fill up my plate with my favorites, and then we'll go ahead and do a review of the actual food. All right. All right, how's everyone uh, enjoying breakfast so far? Good stuff? Killmonger's digging it. Cap's digging it. Mar Marsh still hasn't gotten a nickname, but he's cleaned his plate. So I say we're doing good. We're ready for round two, boys. Oh, hi, Bian. How's it going? Good. Oh, and also special thanks to Bian. She was our server for two days in a row over here, so she dealt with our gang of idiots for two days. She's amazing, consummate professional. Thank you so much for making our, uh, our trip excellent. All right, guys, so, uh, yeah, breakfast wasn't too bad. Uh, pork loin was a little dry, but that's just kind of pork for you in general. New York Strip, definitely a lot better. Uh, need a little more seasoning. But the carvery, as always, good stuff. Enjoy the omelet. I'm going to go ahead and take a trip to the dessert area to get a little something extra. Okay, at the dessert station, they got some menudo over here for the soup of the day. And, of course, breads and rolls and all that. But I never eat breads and rolls. Uh, and then they have ice cream, ice cream dispenser. And I think the most important thing, they've got the pie. Always got to have a piece of the pie. Um, donut holes. That sort of thing, honestly. Oh, pardon me, man. Excuse me. Oh, here's the good stuff, though. So the little cakes. 
and brownies and things like that, but I think the most important thing is the red velvet cake. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and dig into some cream puffs and some uh, cannolis and all that, because I got all those here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. If you did, feel free to go ahead and drop a like on the video and subscribe for more stuff next time. So until then, it's Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands and the last plate.